design. And I suppose that you know what sodium is and what does it in an FUG. Uh, you know the basic world is DCM, and I just want to show how we can add a DCM. First of all, create a new project. Uh, we make a name for that, for example, uh, you know, DCM add, and the next go, we select the Spartan 3, this 400, PQ 208, and the speed rate is full, uh, the VHDL dies in the existing, everything is on the, you know, basic, yeah, finish, okay. Now we have our new project, the DCM add. First, we need to add a DCM to our design. So, to add a DCM, we first click the IP core generator and architectural wizard. We name it DCM, but we cannot name exactly uh, the same as the IP core's name, for example, DCM. We should put a new name, some other characters to the name. We should add some other characters to the name. We call it my DCM and we go next. Uh, creating, we can add a DCM here. We can write a DCM in the search IP catalog on the IP compatible with the chosen part. And yes, this is the DCM that we can add to the Spartan tree. We add it. Okay. Uh, now it's creating the my DCM. And at this moment, it's open a wizard for us to. Uh, configure the DCM that we want. Okay, uh, the output call of the VHDL is VHDL, the sentence tools is XSD, and the part number that we choose is yes, exactly. Okay, so we click the OK, we, the, the wizard open. The more important uh, you know, uh, settings are the input clock frequency that we enter 40. Uh, you can click the, the clock output that you need. We need, uh, for example, clock 90, and the clock 0 is uh, by the basic is clicked, it's checked, and we click the clock FX. The lock, I didn't, I didn't use the clock. Yeah, the fast shift uh, is known. The feedback source is internal. The feedback value is 1x. The clock in source is the clocking source is single and it's not differentiated. You know what's to differentiate it. And if we click next, use a global buffer for all select the clock. Yes, it's, this is a better choice to use a global clock to transfer to transfer the clock over the VJ. Use the upper frequency, for example. Uh, you know, as we click the clock and fix, we should we can see this page and we can, for example, under 56 kilobytes. I'm sorry, megahertz uh, clock, and you know the, the M is seven, and the D is five. Uh, the the per G theory is about uh, yeah this the apple frequency. Is, okay, uh, finish. Direct into Azure code. Yeah, this is okay. This is my DCM. Now, for using the DCM, we add another. We add a VHDL library. We call it the main, and I want to add them. You put the Apple Works by code, and I click this and put it as the main. Yes. Okay, this is my DC and this is my wish code. I have, I can, yeah, port, there is a I clock that we name it in a studio logic vector. Okay. And we have another reset. IRST we support. Yes. We have an, for example, LED. This is in. No, this is out. I'm sorry. This is out. And it's. This is the logic vector. I'm sorry about this. This is the logic. This is the logic vector tree down to zero. Okay, this is my entity uh, for you know using the DCM. Okay, now we click the my DCM. Look at here. This is a my DCM, um, and 
lower that, we can see a view a shell instantiation template. If you double click it, yeah, do you want to save the change you made? Yes. It created a component and uh, now, yeah. We can use them, you can copy them, and yeah, you copy them. You came into the main, uh, after the architecture, we can paste the component, and we again copy and paste it here. Yes, this is my DCM. The input clock frequency is I clock. The input reset port is I RST. The clock fix out is my clock, clock 56. This is my clock, clock 56. Uh, I put it open, the clock 90, the clock 14 and 90, and the clock 0. This is my clock 14. Okay. Uh, there is a problem, I think. Okay. The signal. We have a clock 14, clock 56, and clock 40N. These are all state of logic. Okay. Something going wrong. Okay, the clock came into the part of the design, and after that, we can, uh, you know, enter the logic that we want to, the logic that they, they want to use. Uh, okay, enter your logic. This is the basic of how we can add a DCM to the design. Thank you.